Welcome to the channel. In this short video, we are going to show you the new, super easy way to get Windows 11 installed on your laptop, on your PC, that doesn't support Windows 11. Specifically, doesn't a trusted platform module. And we actually have a Dell Inspiron that is a great machine, but just doesn't have a TPM because it was a retail product and they just didn't put them in, in that product. So what's changed recently is that Windows 11 relaxed the requirement for the TPM and you think, okay, so I don't really know what that means. Let me just explain it very quickly. A TPM is a trusted platform module. It's basically a little chip that's soldered onto your motherboard that contains little more than a serial number. So a few other bits in there, but that's the nut of it. And what it lets Microsoft do is encrypt your hard drive. So if somebody takes your computer and then they take the hard drive out of it, and put it in a different computer, they still can't get into it because it's encrypted against the original hardware. Makes it really hard to crack. So that's great if you work for the CIA or you work for a major corporation or you are the prime minister of some country or the president. For most people, doesn't make any difference. Somebody steals your hardware, they're just gonna wipe it out and this will do nothing to stop that. So now that Microsoft has relaxed the requirement for the TPM, how do you install it because if you've already tried to install it just by downloading it and running the install program, it will tell you it still doesn't meet the requirements. That's annoying. And the key here is the word relaxed. Basically what the Microsoft is saying is, look, you can get around this if you want, but we don't think it's a good idea. We know millions of people are doing it though. And so we will no longer make it as forced as it was before. So how do you fix this? Well, pretty straightforward. Okay, so now what we need to do is download Windows 11. And uh, to do that, you're going to need two things. One, you're going to need a USB stick like this little guy. It has to be at least 16 gig. And the second thing you need is the Windows 11 media. So what you search for is Microsoft Windows 11 Media Creation Tool. And it should be one of the first download. Yeah, there it is right there. Download Windows 11, click on that. Do not use the installation assistant. Go to Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Click download. It's down. Now, before you launch it, take your USB stick and plug it into your computer. And by the way, the media creation tool will not run unless you are an administrator on the computer. So if you're trying to upgrade your parents' computer or something at work, that won't work. Recommended options for this PC, sure. Click next. USB is awesome. Next. Oh, it has to be 8 gig. The stick has to be. Okay, I thought it was 16. There we go. Okay, so that's done. Click finish. So you can see we've switched to a camera from uh, doing screen recording, and that's because we will lose the screen recording through the reboots and things. We don't want to lose them. We don't want to do this on a virtual machine that's fake. We want to do it in a real live machine. This is a Dell Inspiron 7400 series. And we've got our USB stick still plugged in over here. So how do you upgrade to Windows 11 without doing any registry hacks or using any third-party tools? Super easy. First thing, figure out what drive letter your USB stick is. In my case, it's E. Then click Start and type in CMD. And you'll see Command Prompt come up. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. Click Yes. Change the E drive, which is just, in my case, E colon, and yours might be a different letter. We just need to change the, the sources directory. So type in CD space S O U, that's enough, and just press the tab to complete it. There it is. And then we want to go to setup prep. And I'll just press tab complete here again because I don't want to type the whole thing. There it is. And we're looking for setup prep.exe. There it is. Space slash product space server and you think, oh no, I don't want to set up a server, bud. Yeah, this won't. Just trust me. This will set up exactly what you're expecting. Windows 11. Press enter and it will fire up. Accept. Now at this point, it would have already errored out and you can see it's beautiful. Keep files and settings and add. There we go. Next. Beautiful. Now that took a few minutes. We skipped through it. Click next. Okay, it just did its first reboot and now it's working on updates. Isn't that nice? Pretty close to finished. So even though it said Windows Server at the top, it's not installing Server. It's installing Windows 11. 
In particular, the version that matches the version you've got, Windows 11 Pro, Education, Home, whatever version you've got, it will upgrade. And as you can see, that is Windows 11. There it is. Windows 11 24H2. Beautiful. Now, a couple of changes I like to make right away because I can't stand the Windows 11 layout. I want it to be much more Windows 10-like. First thing is to right-click on the taskbar, go to taskbar settings, uh, turn all of this garbage off. The search box is not necessary. You can just click start and start typing and it will search the cloud. It'll search everything for you. So there's no need to actually have the retail space wasted here. Turn off any widgets and task views. They're just garbage. Uh, and then go down to taskbar behaviors. This is the big one. Set it to left. And I also cannot stand combine. Combine is when you have, let's say, five browser sessions open. It'll put them all in one little block, in which case I can't find anything. So I set it to uh, never uh, combine them. By default, it's set to always. In Windows 10, I'd already turned that off, so it pulled it through. So set it to never. And I also go into File Explorer and go to View and Show and turn on file name extensions. That is the biggest one. Can't handle looking at programs that I'm not certain are what they say they are. Okay, at this point we can remove the USB stick. Watch, it'll go away. There it is. And now the last thing to do here is an update. So click Start, go to Settings, go to Windows Update, Force an Update, check for updates. There, so there's a bunch of little bits. Nothing too shocking though. Although I can see the cumulative update for this is uh, from tw uh, October. So that's old. We'll have a few of these to do. And also make sure you go into advanced options and down to optional. And anything here that isn't preview you want. So if it says driver updates or something like that, you want those. Select those. This one already has it. It's in good shape. Another thing to do is go to the store to make sure that all of your store apps are updated. So go to the store. Go to Downloads, select Get Updates, and it will check to see if there are any. Let's see what it comes up with for updates, but it'll pull those down in the background, so that's good. And just two more quick things to do. One is to right-click on the Start button and go to Device Manager. Yeah, nothing. Everything here is clean. We have nothing with a bang, which is a, tr a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark in it. Everything looks happy, so that's good. And the very last thing to do is to go to Dell and see if they have updates. Click support, go to drivers and downloads. You can either enter your part or it will find it. In this case, this is a Dell Inspiron 7472, so the 7000 uh, series. And I will click on that. Have a check for updates. You can see Dell does not support Windows 11 on that device, that's correct. But it will still have updates, if there are any. Things like the BIOS, hardware drivers, things like that. System's up to date. That's probably because I patched this just before I did the update, so let's get rid of that. You probably will have some updates you'll need to get through. Windows updates are still going. Store updates are done. So let's go to System. Down to About, Windows 11 Home, 24H2, very nice, all very happy. Hey, so if you found this video useful, we'd really appreciate a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca, that's www.urtech.ca, or you can leave a question or comment below, and if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody's got an opinion. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.